Does it really matter if your air conditioner is in the shade or if it's baking all day in the sun? I've been asked this question quite a few times, so I looked into this and this is the conclusion I came to. If you live in an area where your summers regularly do not go over 95 degrees, then this is something you shouldn't even concern yourself with. Your air conditioner being in the shade or not doesn't really matter. But if you live in an area where your summers do get super hot, then having your air conditioner in the shade might not be such a bad idea. Before making this video, I took the time to go through quite a few articles and forums, and I watched most of the YouTube videos on this topic to see what they had to say about this. And the conclusions that most of these people come to is that it does not matter if the air conditioner is in the shade or not, it'll work almost exactly the same. And most of them even do a little test to prove their point. They measure the temperatures, the pressures, and the electricity usage of the unit when it's in the sun, and then they put up some kind of canopy to give it some shade, and then they measure the same things in the shade to see what kind of a difference it makes. And of course, the difference is very small and almost non-existent. My biggest problem with their claims and their tests is the fact that the tests are so short. Usually they only last one hour. So they do half an hour, if even that, of the unit in the sun, and they do another half an hour with the unit in the shade. That's a very short time for a test like this. It's like doing a study to see what the most popular hair color is on only 50 people. That same test would have a lot more weight to it if it was 500,000 people. And the same thing applies to this air conditioner test. It would be a lot more believable if this was done in a span of a whole entire season, not just in a span of one hour. But unfortunately, to my knowledge, nobody's done a test like this and recorded it, except maybe, to some extent, the manufacturers of these air conditioners and homeowners themselves. Most air conditioner manufacturers recommend that their units be installed on the shadiest part of the house. That way, when it's the hottest time of the day, their units are in the shade. They probably did do some tests to come to that conclusion. As for homeowners who did this experiment on their own air conditioners, those who actually made the effort to build something to put their air conditioner in the shade, most of them actually claimed that doing this did make a noticeable difference in their electricity usage when they compared it month to month and year to year. The best place to find people like this is in these same YouTube videos that claim that putting it in the shade makes no difference. I took the time to read all of the comments on most of these YouTube videos to find people like this that actually tried doing that and see what they say. I do understand that there's a lot of variables that come into play as well, such as maybe the previous year was cooler than this year, and that's why the electricity bill is different. But when there's more than one people saying this, there's quite a few of them, then it does add some more weight to it. I would rather believe them, people that actually tried it for like a whole season or for multiple years, than somebody who just did a test for half an hour and made a claim on the spot. I also saw a little example in history as I was looking into this. In the 1990s in the Southwest, it was really popular to put the air conditioner on the roof on newly constructed houses. It didn't take him very long to realize that was very inefficient in many ways. So shortly after that, they made a new rule where all the condenser units had to be on the floor and in between the houses, preferably in a shady place. I thought that was kind of interesting, almost like an unintentional large scale experiment. So from all of this is how I came to my conclusion that if you live in a very hot area, it is beneficial to have your unit in the shade if possible. Even though most air conditioners will use about the same amount of electricity, whether they're in the sun or not, the difference is that the unit that's in the shade will run less often. So for example, the unit that's in the sun will work 10 hours a day, whereas the unit that's in the shade will work eight hours a day. But with that being said, the next question arises. If your unit is already on the side of the house where there's a lot of sun and there's nothing you can do about it, is it worth trying to do some kind of renovation or project to build shade around your unit? And the answer is, if this is gonna be expensive, don't spend a lot of money on this because the savings will not be worth it. Also keep in mind that washing down the condenser coil regularly and changing the furnace filter or the air handler filter inside the home regularly would do you a lot more good than putting the unit in the shade. I have videos on both of those topics if you need more information on that. Another thing to keep in mind is that the house, the big house that is exposed to the sun, attracts a lot more heat than this little air conditioner. 
It would be a lot more expensive, but definitely more worthwhile to insulate your house better. The siding, the shingles on your roof, the insulation in the walls, the windows, you could even get an energy audit to see if you have any kind of leakages in the house. That would do a lot more good than dealing with the air conditioner. And a quick note on the air filters, don't use the super expensive stuff as it seems to do more harm than good. One easy thing to do is to close all the shades in your windows and your slide doors, especially when you're not home, because a lot of heat enters through the windows. And if you do decide to build some kind of a wall or a canopy for your air conditioner to give it some shade, keep in mind that it does need airflow. Airflow is vital. The unit sucks air in through the sides and pushes it out through the top. So if you have anything too close to it, it'll prevent it from sucking air in, which could kill the compressor with time. So you want at least two to three feet of clearance all around the unit. As for a canopy above it, that's usually a bad idea overall, unless it's really high up there, because what ends up happening is the hot air that is coming out from the top of the unit, it bounces off the top and it comes back down and it gets sucked in through the sides. So now instead of the shade helping the unit be a little cooler, it's actually gonna be a little hotter. The idea of the shade for the air conditioner is more to keep the area around it cool than to keep the unit itself cool. So if you're gonna have some kind of a tiny covering that barely covers the air conditioner itself, then it's probably not even worth putting that up. I also read some comments where people tried to spray water around their unit on really hot days, and they claimed that their house cooled down faster after they did that. And I do believe that because again, we're trying to cool off the area around the unit, not the unit itself. You don't want to spray the whole unit itself to try to cool it down, but if you spray around it, that actually might help. Because as the water evaporates, it cools down the air around the unit, which then gets sucked in through the sides. I've never tried doing that myself, but it is a pretty simple and easy thing to do, so perhaps one of you could try it on a super hot day and let us know how it works. Another interesting comment I saw is a guy that made a hat for his rooftop unit. So the unit is on the roof, it's always in the sun. If you put up a wall, that's only gonna shield it for a little bit, and the rest of the day, it's still gonna be in the sun. So he made a cylinder that goes on top of his unit for the hot air to go through, and then he made a big ring, a wide ring, all around it, so that the unit has shade all around. Almost like a big hat. He claims that it made a big difference, and it made his unit last longer. I don't know how true that is, but I did find that pretty interesting. Anyways, that's all I had on this topic. This was just all my opinions. If you agree with them or disagree, please let me know why in the comment section below. And if you're still here, what is the name of the city that a goose likes to visit the most? Honk Konk. And what do you call a group of crows dressed as geese? A murder most foul. <laughs>